subscribe to my channel. So, welcome back, guys. Um, this is going to be a little different. What we're doing today is flying robots. Uh, this right here is going to be on a special modded server. As you can see, the floor is lava. Uh, I thought that, you know, I haven't done a video like this in quite a while, so I thought that maybe it'd be a good idea for me to do one of these videos. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Good news is, is I finally got um, the CPU for my 32-bit monster project. It's a E8600 dual core by Intel socket 775. Although I just found out that there's an even more powerful processor that I can put in there called the Q9550. And it's like 50% faster than the one I got today. So, considering the fact that the name of the project is Monster, we're going to go with that one. Uh, it's going to cost me another 40 bucks or so for the CPU through eBay to get it here. But that's okay. Um, we're still looking around for GPUs. I cannot find a GPU that has DirectX 11 and is in my budget cost and is fast and powerful enough to be considered in a monster machine, you know. So, anyway, so I decided to get on War Robots, and I noticed that they were offering the modded server. They were offering um, what they call scrimmages, scrimmage rounds. And I noticed that the new robots that they've brought into play are flying robots. So I was like, oh, that's cool. Uh, let's do that for a video. I'm, I'm in between videos right now. Oh, I forgot, guys. We may do what we call the fanless system. Basically what I want to do is I want to take the 32-bit monster, I want to water cool it, but I want to water cool it using no fans whatsoever. I'm even considering using um, thermoelectric conductors. Well, I think it's called the Pelt Peltfer, the Peltifer system. Uh, it's basically what they use to make air conditioners. Uh, oh, look at that. Hell yeah. Flying, baby. Like a plane. Look at that. Do, 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 Yeah, boy. That's when I'd have rockets on the wings. But anyway, this right here is one of the new robots that I was talking about. This thing right here. And that's also one of the new robots right there. I think that robot's called a Hades. It's a mean little bastard. Uh, so anyway, like I was saying, I'm thinking about going fanless. I found these... They're called dual pass uh, transmission coolers, and they look really cool. They're like these long aluminum cylinders with heat sinks or heat fits all the way around it. And basically, what it does is the oil goes in one chamber, gets cooled, and then comes out the other chamber. And I'm thinking about incorporating two of those, two radiators, and then using some of the uh, the Peltifer, I swear I'm not pronouncing that right. Basically, it's a thermoelectrical pad, and what you do is you run a volt through it, and the volt turns into two types of heat. It turns into a cooling and then a heating. So on one side of the of the pad, it's like a square pad, and it's white and it has two wires running into it. One one side of it will get really hot while the other side will get really cold. And you have to be able to moderate those two forces, those two temperatures correctly. So it's going to be interesting. And I, one of the things, though, is that if I cool, like refrigerate the water, we have a very big chance of condensation building up on the lines. And if that happens, water could drip and could cause a short. Which, we are going to... Oh, check this out. This is awesome. Flying over the canvas. This guy right here, I know I pissed off because I killed this dude. And he tried everything he could to kill me. But I, I took refuge behind this little wall right here. You see this little wall in front of me? Look, it pisses him off the whole time because he can't get to me. <laughs> I'm a corner shot your ass the whole time. Look, can't get me. Got him. So anyway, uh, back to what I was talking about. So I'm thinking about doing that. So 
I'm going to have radiators. You'll actually be surprised on how much dissipation you get when a radiator doesn't have any fans attached to it. Just the passive air being moved, you know, is enough to kind of cool it. But um, I wanted to get a... See, if you're going to go with balls to the wall equipment, the balls to the wall equipment are going to come with high heat temperatures. Now, the CPU that we're going to put in there is a Q9550. I got the E8600, but then I realized that the Q9550, which is a lot faster, but it has a TDP of 95 watts. That's another thing I was looking into. The radiators and the heat dissipation system that I am thinking about building should have a total cooling solution of about a thousand watts and we're probably going to be running somewhere in the neighborhood of about 340 or maybe 380 watts depending on how much the CPU puts out the RAM puts out and the GPU because my ultimate goal is to water cool all three of these but that's expensive guys that takes a lot of money so what I've been doing is is I've been buying parts for it here and there over time trying to spread out the cost this is the new Hades bot right here that I was using it's pretty cool on to the next bot this is another flying bot running I can't think of the name of these weapon system, but I call it the snowball thrower because it looks like it's throwing snowballs. You know, like little electrical plas snowballs. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, so I appreciate you guys watching, talking along. Another thing is that we're looking at, we're looking at getting a new camera. Uh, but that's about 300 bucks. And that's uh, a used camera system that we're going to acquire. I can't exactly buy this new cam this camera new because it's almost nine hundred dollars. It's like eight eight hundred and fifty. I think the cheapest I found it was for eight hundred. But I can't spend eight hundred dollars on a camera right now. I mean, I could take that eight hundred and buy some pretty badass water cooled and hardware for a computer and I can even do some repairs to my vehicle and pay rent I mean shit I could do a lot with eight hundred dollars I just don't see dropping that on that at the moment so anyway um about three hundred bucks is what the guy agreed to sell it to me on I just gotta come up with the money and help him out this is pretty badass I'm on a roll right here rampage and then of course my dumbass decides to fly out in the middle of the killing field and get murdered boy these guys were glitching a little man but I really wanna I really wanna finish this 32-bit monster just so I can move on to the next project because the next project this fanless water cooling system that excites me way more than the 32-bit monster project excites me but I've already started it I'm like the fourth or fifth series in I was hoping that on the fifth episode of the series that it would be the conclusion and I just got the new power supply in and I got uh, some other little um, parts that I needed to get to going I just need to come up with about another 170 to 200 dollars so I can get a graphics card buy the RAM that I need and now I gotta buy a faster CPU because I found a faster CPU. And take off. It looks like a damn transformer almost. It has like a special ability where it shoots like that red lightning bolt out. I see it's armed with four. I don't know if those are. I think those are mediums. I'm not sure. Maybe they're lights. I don't know. But I finally got my robots the way I wanted them, guys. Check this shit out. I finally got the fifth spot unlocked. That's this fifth spot right here. But I finally got some of the robots that I've been loving to have. Like, for instance, my Lancelot. And then I have the Hayachi. And then the Spectre. 
The Spectre is running four Tumblis, level 10 through 11. And then the Hayachi, which I need to upgrade some more. He's just running three Terrans right now. Two level 9s and one level 10s. But you can see right there I can unlock those slots. This right here is different, guys. Nobody runs Punisher T machine guns. Like, nobody does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them. And I'm going to get them to MK2 level 12, which is super maxed out can't go no more and i think they'll be a force to reckon with because they're really good at shield breaking on top with that damn templates on top you know i mean compared to like a hydra which is like at 12 1300 starting you know this thing's at 50 damage starting but then and again we got my leo mk2 running the flame throw ah oh yeah and then this right here is my favorite bot with all these spirals i actually did a video about this one but anyway, I'm going to stop chatting it up. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video. I appreciate y'all. Please hit the like and the subscribe. And as always, we'll catch y'all later.